Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Now bite on that bloody glamour. I only came in to see about Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. I haven't decided on him yet. But every situation's different, Toad. Well, might I suggest a path of compassion for the pig? And me and me boy, too. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest to watch. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. Look. You were unglamoured three days ago, and you're still unglamoured now. I can't ignore that. But you go to the farm, things cool down here a bit. Maybe you can come back at some point. Best I can do. What a crook of shite. Government by the fables for the fables, my arse. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Okay. Good. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up, too. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. just happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. 
Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Uh, mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Alright, let's go get that crooked man. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are gonna get ugly in a minute. Leave? I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. Am I some kind of fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing. Maybe. Tell me who yeah, the fuck is maybe. back there. I ain't scared of you. I, I don't exactly so know. I, I, got a I just problem. mind the door. You the boss is worry. there. He'll come around. That much. I might crane before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. 
That won't be necessary. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Oh man, the whole gang's here. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. about you in the old days how you picked off those men one by one oh how they screamed the wolf is coming and they would wait hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic shivering corpses some would just drop to their knees where they stood close their eyes and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Ah, <gasps> oh, bummer. I thought that that was going to keep going, but it looks like that was the end. So, that was episode four. Let's check out percentages. Did you send Colin to the farm? It looks like I was in the majority. 85.5% of players decided Colin should not go to the farm. I don't know. He stays out of sight. He seems cool. Did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? It looks like I was in the majority again. 63.8% of players did not try to remove the ribbon. Uh, I didn't want to violate her space. I don't know. Just didn't seem right at the time. Which crooked operation did you investigate first? It looked like 63 percent 0.2% of players decided to go to the cut above. I only did that because Beast told me not to go to the pawn shop first to make sure that uh, Beauty would be okay, so I listened to him. Did you send Toad to the farm? I wish I didn't do that. I kind of was very vague about which which option was to send him to the farm, and it looks like I was in the minority. 24.1% of players decided Toad should go to the farm, but he has been not really listening to what I'm saying, so... What are you going to do? How did you respond to the Crooked Man? It looks like 43.7% of players lit a cigarette. I don't know. I didn't know what to say to him, so I decided to do that. So it looks like that's it. That's episode 4 of The Walking Dead. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if you missed any past episodes, I have it up on my Twitch account. I also have it on my YouTube account. I'll be playing episode 5 tomorrow after I get off work which is uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And uh, thank you guys again. <laughs>